Hey, welcome back. Well, it's still fall, so I thought today I would make a delicious butternut squash casserole. But this is not any ordinary butternut squash casserole. For one, it's vegan. And for two, it's made with cashew cheese, leeks, kale, and pecans. So it is packed with flavor and nutrients. This is also a really great vegan dish for Thanksgiving because everyone loves it, even your meat eater friends will love this dish. As usual, I will put a link in the description below to the recipe on my website so you can follow along if you want. Now, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is roast our butternut squash. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna prepare a baking tray with some parchment paper. I'm also gonna get out my casserole dish and spray it with some oil. So I have a medium sized butternut squash. It's almost three pounds, not quite. And I am just going to peel it and chop it into cubes that are about an inch in size. Then I'm going to put those in a large bowl and toss them with three cloves of minced garlic. Half a cup of chopped fresh parsley, a tablespoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. All of that is gonna get spread on the baking sheet and then I will bake it for about 35 minutes until the squash is fork tender. After it's done, make sure you reduce the oven temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, I'm gonna start cooking my leeks over on the stove. I have four smallish leeks here. Once I slice them up, we'll see if it's the right amount. So we are only using the white parts of the leeks, so I'll start by cutting off the green tops and then I'll cut the roots off of the bottom. And I'm gonna just slice the leeks in half so I can wash in between the layers. Typically, there's a lot of dirt and sand in between the layers. So I found that slicing them in half is the best way to clean them. Once they're clean, we're just gonna slice them into smaller pieces. You're gonna wanna end up with about four cups of leeks. So I have a large saute pan here and I'm just gonna add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil and heat it up over medium heat. Then I will add my chopped leeks to the pan along with a tablespoon of fresh thyme, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And you just wanna cook that until the leeks are tender, which should take about 10 minutes. So now we're also gonna make a cashew cream. So if you don't have a high power blender, if you have an old one like mine, then you're gonna to wanna to pre-soak your cashews. Um, so you can either soak them in water for two hours or you can just boil them for 10 minutes. So you're gonna take a third of a cup of cashews and two thirds of a cup of water, blend it up till it's nice and creamy. And then you're just gonna add a tablespoon and a half of nutritional yeast for a little bit of nice cheesy flavor. I'm also going to make a flax egg to help bind everything together a bit. So that's two tablespoons of ground flax seed with a quarter cup of water. And we'll just need to let that sit for about five minutes to thicken up and then we'll mix it into the cashew cream along with a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. So now we're almost done. I'm just going to add my butternut squash, leeks, and cashew cream sauce into the baking dish and mix it up a little bit and then put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. While that's baking, I'm going to chop half of a cup of pecans and I'm gonna set aside one and a half cups of chopped green kale for the top of the casserole. Now that the 15 minutes are up, let's finish this dish off. I have some tree line sea salt and pepper cashew cheese. This cheese is absolutely amazing. It tastes very similar to goat cheese and it goes amazingly well with the butternut squash. So I just wanna add this so that it is a little bit crumbly. I'm not adding the whole thing. I'm only adding about two thirds of it. Um, so I am going to use a fork to kind of break it up and add it in. 
and I'll add a cup and a half of chopped kale as well and then I'll just mix it up a bit to get the kale and cashew cheese nicely distributed. And then I'm just taking my pecans and sprinkling them on top here before I put everything back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And we are done! So good. This one is a bit of work as you can tell but it is so worth it. <laughs> this is one of those recipes that just feels super indulgent, but it's actually pretty healthy. There is so much good stuff in here and it tastes amazing. If you need more ideas for vegan Thanksgiving recipes, you can stick around, hit subscribe because I've got plenty more coming your way. I also have a whole page on my website for vegan Thanksgiving recipes, so I will link that down below if you wanna check it out. See you next time.